A bat is very dramatic. Bat, the drama. Oh, a peacock. Yeah, yeah. The drama of a bat is is too much. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> peacock. <laughs> the reveal. <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome to Out and About. It is Wednesday. Um, if you are listening in the car, I suggest you pop on over to Rumble or other services to look at Joey and I right now because this is a picture of mental health. This is a picture of physical health. I may have a broken ring. Joey may have lips the size of basketballs, but we are feeling good. The weather is beautiful. The sun is shining. And Nana had herself a hell of a weekend. How you doing, Joe? I'm not well, bitch. I'm having a reaction to my injections. I can... It's not a reaction. I not, I'm not actually sustainable to um, to cold sores during stressful situations. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I think my part, my Saturday night dinner party, put me into a spiral. So you have big news from that. You're actually going to be. It was your sister in law's or your cousin's engagement party. My cousin Chris. What happened? You're going to be. You're going to be officiating. I will be officiating. They um they asked me to. They asked for my hand. Okay. <laughs> they asked for um, your blessing. That's my blessing. Um, and they, I didn't know this was happening. Apparently, Bay and her were in cahoots for many moons. Oh. Um, discussing, like, you know, how they were going to ask me and stuff. And ask, maybe, I think she actually asked her his asked him for my hand. The, um, it, this, to, is to your, this is a dream for you. To yeah, be I love when people talk behind my back. Yes. About me and, like, in a good situation. Of course. You know I mean? Or a bad situation. I don't care. Just keep my name in your mouth. Publicity is publicity, baby. I know. We can't so, say that. Um, yeah, they, um, they started doing a speech thanking me for hosting their party. Um, it was a little of a rough start. Okay. The girls couldn't make it. Okay. The girls couldn't make it, and yep. you know what that happens there. So I was in a tizzy. Five thirty. I told everyone six o'clock. I sent a message to everyone in the group saying, T- uh, "Everyone drive slow. I'm not ready yet." Five <laughs> five thirty six. Drive slow. Five thirty six. They fucking come busting through the door. Poppy, my sister, my aunt, my oh, uncle. Oh God. B- busting through the door. Like I said, I told you I'm not ready. I'm in my underwear. The bed's not made. Had you gooned yet? I can't even think about that right now. Um, the bed's not made. The kitchen is like still like I haven't like uh, finished like putting uh, all the plate the platters together and stuff yeah, for, the, yeah, yeah. for the things. The, the house is in shambles. The vacuum wasn't run yet. It was like the house was in shambles. The vacuum that. wasn't. Now the vacuum didn't run. No, you need a fucking. Ro- if there's ever anyone who needs a Roomba, it's you. A Roomba. The the motorized vacuum that does that kick it? doesn't do anything, but does it? I don't think it picks up stuff like as much as it doesn't. I- that doesn't seem like it does. It seems like know. a waste of money, and I don't have room for that. Okay. Anyway, so I was in a tizzy, so I was like, you know, finally, my sister's like, we're here to help. I said, no, you're here, you're here to fucking fuck with me. I told you I wasn't ready yet. I So I went into, I locked myself in my room and didn't emerge until... Until the moment was right. Until the moment was right. Then I came out and... um Of the closet. Th- I know, and then, and then uh, Bay was like fucking up the cocktails. Like I told him, like, I had my freezer door cocktails. I made lemon, basil, fennel, um, martinis. Yep. And now, to be clear, this is an engagement party for your. It's not cousin. a real engagement party. It was, but it's a it's a congratulations. It's a congratulations. Come over, have cocktails, enjoy my beautiful home. Blah blah blah. Yes, that's yes. what it was. So I had a signature cocktail that was like that. Uh, Bay was just raw dogging out there, just pouring it into cups, <laughs> like from the freezer. I think, like, oh, you have to shake it, and you have to add yeah. this this, uh, this uh, the topper that I have with it. Yep. Anywho, um, I finally got it my, was my, scissorp. The twist it was scissorp. Yeah, I got it. It was my, lean. Um. I got my ducks in a row, and then they, got, they did a speech. I want to thank you for having me in the sh- uh, having the party at the house and all my generosity. And they said they asked if I'd be their officiator. Woo-hoo! Now I wasn't sure. Now I don't know if it's a Catholic ceremony or what, but Better I don't I don't know how. And he's Brazilian, so I don't know how the Brazilians. Can you Google? Uh, can you be gay in Brazil? Oh, Brazil! Brazil is gay as fuck, and Brazilians are usually Catholic. That's a huge Brazilian so gay, Catholicism so, so, is huge. So am I going to get in trouble for for teaching the Brazilian people about well, the, you, the Lord? Well, you were planning on reading the Quran at the wedding. I was pre. I was planning on reading a, a book, um, a, an excerpt from RuPaul's new book, <laughs> Ru the, Ru the World. Two, two queens stand before me. <laughs> yeah. you, get up. you remember Vicky De Levine on Net on uh, the characters John Early, Vicky De Levine. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. She officiated. Uh, John Early officiated Amy Poehler's or no, as her Amy Schumer's wedding as Vicky De Levine. Yeah, yeah. I would love for you to be in some sort of costume. Well, I'm trying. To, I, got, well, I'm, I, I do have global influence. Maybe perhaps, maybe perhaps a long flowy sequin pant with a high heel. Why? Well, I'm, I'm coming up. dressed as a nun. <laughs> but should I, do, I can do a carnival. No, it's, it's a destination wedding. We don't know where it's going to be. But it's a, it's a, a tropical thing. Do you have to get ordained? No, because it's going to be in another country. I have to get. I'm doing my sister's wedding in September. I have to get fucking ordained for it. Th- those shady, those shady mix from Franklin Mass. You think they're <laughs> yeah. gonna check check if you were ordained or not? By the way, that post you posted. Thank about, you, uh, Franklin the Turtle. Trish fakes an injury to get a Percocet. 
That was so and, just our best Franklin, friend, our best, our favorite comedian, Just Carson, liked it. Oh, did she? I loved it. Yeah, Franklin. It was very funny. So I said because I didn't know who Franklin was. It really said Franklin on it. You're Franklin I, the Turtle. You are Franklin. I, the I turtle. know, but then it said. Then I decided to keep Franklin because it says that's where you're from. So I, <laughs> I, I added that a classic Franklin story, and that's from your hometown. Yes, but it said Franklin fakes an injury. But I changed it to Trish. You notice how you did the font in the same color? Yes. Now she's, now, she's been, now, she's been, now she's been a graphic design queen for many moons. By the way, my mother was shoveling uh, pain pills into my mouth after. She's like, you got to take them as, as, as prescribed. She was probably, she was probably yeah, embezzling for me the whole yeah, time she was there. I woke up late at night. I see my mom in the kitchen just cr- just cracking up a, f- cracking up a, f- a pill. She's in the cubby hole. She, my she's mom, coming home with shoots some Frisco dykes. <laughs> I told her, I go, she was in like her, uh, like a matching sweatsuit in her comfies, she calls it. And I go, why don't you go over to the cubby hole? She goes, I'd probably match. She goes, I'd probably fit in with those dykes. Yeah. I go, oh my God. Uh, back to me. Back um, to you. Back to you. Back so to I was, it's going to be a tropical theme. So I'm going to have to like, think something. I may wear a headdress. I may, I may, I may take a, a nod from Barbados Carnival and um, maybe wear a toucan. Now, when is the wedding? It's in May of next year. So, so we're it's looking at a spring palette. Yeah. So a tro- in, in, in a foreign country. A tropical spring palette. Now, we're going to need a lip refill by then, I would assume. <laughs> We're gonna be snatched by then. You're in. I the could ju- be dead by then. You could be dead. Um, <laughs> you should I, do a joint funeral wedding. No, I want all the shine. Talk um, about it. So I. But the thing is, now I, normally I wouldn't. I would normally I would sit on this kind of um um advance because I have to check my agency to see if they're taking a fee. Yes. Like all these things. So an appearance fee. And I. But no. But she gave me a gift that I could not refuse. She made me an offer I could not refuse. What was the gift? She approached me with a, a present. I already said yes, and then they gave me. In a, in a bottle of in a bottle of beluga. No, she got me um, a set of oh, triple harmony um, old fashioned glasses from Baccarat. Wow, the ones I have, ne- the one I have, the one set I have now, but I broke one in the dishwasher. Just two. It comes as a set of two. Oh, okay. My sister got me four. I just wanted to kind of. That's not that was that that's the, that's the, the that's the multi pack set. That's okay. the, that's the, that's like the the, uh, the tester set. Okay, What's cool, it called? Cool, cool. The variety pack. That's the a variety, variety pack. Did you really get you that? No, she didn't. She okay. got me like a nice little like but it wasn't Bakra, a nice little book and some booze. I don't want to hear about it then. Which my ex's piece of shit friend Kelly got me a nice bottle of booze. I went away for the weekend. He drank the booze that was supposed to be for the officiant. Scumbag. Anyway, back to you. They so, got you the Baccarat. Go on. The Baccarat crystal glasses, which I love, so I can't say no now. It's like because the thing is, you were never going to say even no, if I babe. said no, you were never I would have to give no. the gift back. How much a Baccarat? Two cups of Baccarat. The ones I got. Yeah, five hundred bucks or something. More for two cups. Six ninety. Six hundred and ninety dollars for two cups, and you broke one. Oh, maybe they're more. Six ninety each. I don't know. I broke one. Yeah, I broke one in the dishwasher. How drunk were you? I bought this for myself. Oh no, I didn't. Those were my fortieth birthday gift. Wait, so what time? So you accepted the gift. This is a beautiful thing. You're excited to be doing it. It's going to be next spring, maybe in Brazil, maybe in Barbados, somewhere tropical. Somewhere far, maybe, maybe Mexico, maybe. Maybe Newark, maybe Camden, New Jersey at a Baptist church. If we're lucky. We don't know what it is, but that's very, very exciting. And you've never ordained a wedding before. No, but I think, I think if, the thing is that as, if I, I, I can ad lib here, but I need, a, I need an outline. Can you Google um, or, uh, or like a wedding, what do we do? I want to try to practice. Oh, t- no, TikTok is the place to do it. Well, if you go on TikTok and you look up weddings, uh, like orda- ordaining, whatever. Wedding, wedding officiating speech. speech. Wedding, wedding officiating, uh, officiating wedding, whatever. Speech. Or guide, yeah. Okay, now, now let me, is there is there actual now, Alex? I want to read it. Free templates, there you go. Script. I think it's just got to be quick. All right, I'm going to read it. Okay, pretend. I should have Cooper in here. Yeah. Okay. Welcome the guests. Hello, welcome. There's no photos allowed. Please turn your phones to silent. With that, let's begin and I cue the procession. You're gonna. I have an issue with that because you're gonna want to be tagged as am I. So I'm gonna say, please put your phones out. Please hashtag. Yeah. What What's the wedding hashtag gonna be? Yeah. Booty and uh, bussy Booty, and br- bussy bu- in Brazil. Bussy, bussy for Brazil. Yeah. Now, can we scroll down, Miss? Very now I'm gonna start. The, I'm gonna start. The, I'm gonna start the proceedings. Okay. Ring boy and ring. Two. No, no, no. All the way down. Okay. Here we go. Oh, you're going to share a story about the couple, read a poem or excerpt from a book that's meaningful to the couple. I think the biggest thing with this is just keeping it short. But there's no, this is not what I needed. I need like to find Yeah, like I don't what. think they can have like an actual like template. I think just rip it off the top of your head. Welcome everyone for coming. Uh, I'm, you know, I know these people, first, I love them. When she them. first told me she was getting engaged to him, I said, where is his papers? <laughs> and, and I'm sure that will play that'll well. That'll rip. Yeah, that'll rip. Um, okay, good. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not nervous. I'm a, you I'm, shouldn't be. I said, you're going to crush. I said, give 
a um, microphone in the in, in, in the evening wear and a spotlight and a spotlight pitch. <laughs> this is what this is what we're born to do. This is where I thrive. So oh, that's gonna be fucking great. You're gonna crush. They I think they originally wanted Poppy to do it, but Poppy already or Poppy already turned turned down. Did he to uh, a gay couple a gay a gay couple of friends? Well, of his. he's traditionally been against gay marriage. We've known that mm -hmm. for forever. Exchange of rings. Now they're going to be cock rings. You give a cock ring. The best man and partner, second ring to the partner. Now I'm all turned around. This is like putting an Ikea catalog together. I, know. You know, I together. think the best thing to do is just wing it. Yeah. Just get up there and wing it. Because I don't even know. You have to ask them what they want, too. That's what people are like. Ask the couple what they want. Some people want it like short. Your, ask, your butt plug went off. That was Cooper. Some people want it short. Some people want it long. So it's basically just like get them up there. Hey, welcome to the wedding. I know these people, blah, blah, blah. Don't make it like, you know, 20 minutes. It should be 10 minutes and done. I had a friend of mine, uh, my buddy Damien, who was an alcoholic at the time of his wedding. Is we he can, black? No, he's white. We can, he's Italian. We can leave this in. His wedding officiant was officiant. What do you call it when you get married? Officiant? Yeah. Him getting married was so fast. It was, they walked up. It was 45 seconds and I was at the bar. I had a, I had a friend whose wedding was like that too. It oh, it was like super great. Short, yeah. Like not even five minutes. It was in Saratoga. Well, you had an eventful weekend. No life changing surgeries, but you know, I mean, eventually. Um, kind of yeah, no, then I, I know, then I was. Um, Did we get into any pills and powders? I was hiding from the living room, the kitchen area, for, for all Sunday because like, I wasn't done. I, I couldn't get it all done. Like and everyone helped and stuff, but the ladies weren't there. So I was like, I, I asked the lady to come. She wasn't able to come there. Sunday, I was just wanting to hide in my bed. <sighs> so I hid in the bed Sunday, all by my lonesome. It was a beautiful day. It was a pretty day of the, of the year so far. Gorgeous. And I didn't get to go out. I didn't, well, I didn't choose to go. I chose to stay home. So then this morning I woke up and I said, you know what? I have to call the ladies. I said, I'm not coming. I'm not. I'm, I'm leaving the house and I'm not coming home until this is done. So the ladies are going to come over around three thirty and just like get just spot. They're going to spot clean. No, it's not spot clean. It's, there's there's it's there's, there's like clean. pots and pans up, like on the, on the stove still. It is nice that the weather is so nice. So I will say, Feidelberg texted me. He goes, buddy, they, it was sixty five degrees on Sunday. He goes, buddy, the gays are out in full Where? force in the West Village. It is summertime. Is gay weather. Mm -hmm. This is when the queens come out. It's the gays are out in the summer, early spring, well, fall hot guys is just lesbian come out. season. Hot, hot guys, guys just come out. You, it was like it was like party central. It was my first time I left the house on Sunday since my my incident. Did anyone scream <laughs> at you when you were walked outside? <laughs> <laughs> they go gimp. No, they didn't. Do you want a quick recap of what it was? I won't. I, hear I, won't, I won't. I don't bore want to you talk guys for about ten it. minutes. Can you just can you take over? <laughs> Thank I you. Say, I won't bore I you check guys. My phone. I won't bore you guys with the details too much. But long story short, I went in. It was more torn than they thought. So they, I had a fractured glenoid. So ladies, if you're listening right now, picture a golf tee and then a golf ball in the What's tee. What's a golf tee? A, great question. <laughs> it's like, you know the, the little white thing that the golf ball sits on? Like if you go to the driving range, you, ha you know what a golf tee is. Like tee off. Yes, kind of. Like that's a, that's a golf tee, the little white thing that they put the ball on. The stick? The stick. Oh, that's like the thing I have in the, in the pizza. So imagine the golf ball is smaller. The tee is your glenoid and the ball is the humerus. I chipped off a piece of that tee. Of the ball. Of the, t of of the, the tee. tee. So basically my shoulder and then the thing that wraps it all together is called the labrum. So I had broken the tee, the glenoid, and then the labrum, easy with the tee, point of privilege, and then the labrum had torn all the way down to my bicep connector. So they went in and told me that they have to drill like two extra holes in my in my bone to let the cartilage like go over. So long story short, Wednesday I got in at like eight forty five. Parents came down, and then I was out by like four, just so high on pain medication. Thursday I could barely move. Friday I could barely move. Saturday I turned a corner. Sunday I started to feel better, and then in two weeks I'll start PT. But showering with no arm was a wait task. you wear that machine that you wear that apparatus in the shower no i had to take it off and the first time i took Did it your off, mother had to bathe your nude like she, body? Sa she said she goes she goes i can help you dry off she goes i'll put my head down it's nothing i haven't seen i was like my you're not i'm not gonna be there with my fucking dick out like in my kitchen with you drying me off which is why she's been around dicks before i know she has but not one this small but it was uh it was a nightmare because i took my thing off and it felt like my arm was just like crutched like in the same position but i will say the weather should be helping me you know get back to where we are and i put the picture up this is the picture of mental health me with a broken wing and joey with broken lips you called me that was very nice someone said serving international fish <laughs> <laughs> lenny balls commented wood what does that mean i don't know like he would smash 
Maybe. Sorry, I was. I put, That's I, all right. I have, I put a thirst trap of a while. That's why I, there's a lot of comments I have to get into. Um, um, you called me. That was very nice. You called me from an Uber on the way home. You don't remember? I You're on drugs. I show you my lips. You did, but you called. But that was. But I think that was you. That was a guise for you being nice to me. That was a very nice thing. Well, I wanted to see. Um, you were you're hoping it was over. You're trying to get me to sign the, sign my stuff over to you at the last minute. Yeah. I will say my AirPods got stolen in the hospital. Who steals AirPods from someone who's like stolen? Have you had anesthesia before? Yeah, for my wisdom teeth. That's it. You never it, put under? Is that's not like real though, right? I think I was out. Totally. Did you put like they give you an IV? I don't even remember how they did it. I, I was talking to this was guy. Two fucking seconds. That's an option to be put to sleep I was for wisdom out. teeth. I just like fell asleep, Maybe. woke up, it was done. Yeah. I was talking you to know this guy. You know, the, you know the dentist blew you when you were sleeping. I hope so. Probably. I was completely naked on the table, which I thought was a little strange. No, what do you, of course, they have to put the catheter in. No, they didn't have a catheter. Yes, they do. They never tell you. No, they did yes, not. Yes, they do. I would know if they had a catheter in my I, I was out for an, I was out for an hour. You were, out for, like, you were out for like eight, I thought. I was out for eight hours. Eight hours. I don't know. I thought it was, I was just talking and this to the guy. I got? And, then all, <laughs> and then all of a sudden I wake up and I'm in a recliner. He's like, okay, you're done. I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah. But it was, uh, you know, it is what it is. So we're onward and we're upward. Did you get to pick the color ball that you wanted? No, I didn't pick the color ball. They gave me a red ball. I don't even know what this fucking thing is. Do you want to try it on? Um, my sling? <laughs> I, would, I would have to get up my pants are unbuttoned right now. So I don't really think if I want to. All right. It would also be a bad omen. What, what else we got going on? I always on? think that's a bad omen if you like try on someone's I like, think wheelchair you try or something, they're cast. I want to, but I, I don't want to stand up right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bricked up. <laughs> <laughs> you go to our little sheet there, then. So that's that. So we're moving on. Um, but that's good that you get you know, quickly now. Are you going to be done with adult injuries? From, from I while? fucking hope so. I was like, my mom's like, don't ski anymore. I think I have to are get you back just, out I think there. you're getting I'm yourself. I'm trash. What? I've realized I'm trash. Well, I know that, but I'm saying, I think you're getting yourself involved in these, men, these physical situations because so you don't feel like you have to. I feel like you're intimidated by the thought of you getting really in shape. You know you have to do it, but you've been putting it off. So you keep hurting yourself. On so you have excuses to not get in shape. Get on your way to good hair in just five days with Way's new hair gloss. Not only does hair gloss give you immediate shine straight from the shower, it also helps treat damage and enhances color vibrancy to get your hair looking and feeling healthier. It's Nana. the first of its kind, believe it or not. Yes. It's an in-shower hair gloss so people think it's, you, you apply it like a conditioner when your hair is wet normally you know you have uh, a gloss is done like you know after you leave it on for a long time this yeah. is something you do about five minutes in the shower so what I do is I get in the shower and then <laughs> wash your hair I use a, de I use a detox shampoo yep. from uh, from Way, and then I do the I you know break my hair if I had long hair I would do it in sections put the gloss on and then you leave it on for five minutes wash your body and then by the time it's done it's like you're doing a spa treatment like a mask almost inside uh, when you rinse your hair out your hair is like ten times shinier stronger and healthier um, it's, it's uh, get your shine out in the shower with new hair gloss it's made with hyaluronic acid ooh. rice water Way's oh. hair gloss provides immediate shine helps treat damaged hair enhances its vi color vibrancy and according to consumer perception study over 85% of recipients uh, Agree, their hair looks shinier and healthier and smoother. Always have good hair days with Way's best sellers like their leave-in conditioner. As Joey mentioned, Joey's a hairdresser. So if you're going to take advice from anyone on hair, it's Joey. I'm the gayest animal. He's the gayest animal. The, the multitasking leave-in conditioner detangles, <laughs> hydrates, and fights frizz for every hair type on your list. Or the detox shampoo, which cleanses product buildup, hard water deposits, dirt, oil, and other impurities. Just like you. Give your hair a glow up with Way. Go to theway.com and use promo code ABOUT for 15% off any product. That's the way. T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com. Promo code ABOUT. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm going to undo basically 10 years of like consistent exercise in three months, which is going to suck. And you're in the fucking gym. I know. My trainer has this cute little private like house gym that I go to. Good. Hell yeah. Um... And I'm going back today. Fuck yeah. Good for you. Yeah, it's great. You're getting hot. I'm getting gross. Well, I have to. Once the once warm weather starts, like it, it catapults you. So now, I have, now I'm, I, I'm, I'm in the middle of getting into a Zempic plug. And I'm in the middle of um, – I, I, I'm working with that guy, working out with that guy. So I, um, I did a cold plunge the other day. How was that? That If he wasn't there with me – I would have I would have jumped out. It's the worst thing in the world. But it, how long did you do? Three minutes. Three minutes? Yeah. On your first time? That's what he said to do. How have many did you, you done do? it? No. You did three minutes? How much did you do? My first time, I barely got to a minute. No. Dude, you went in with your hands and your neck? Yeah. What the fuck? That's a long time. Dude, that's a long time. That's what it said to do. You go in the sauna first? I go in the yeah I go the hot the wooden room first the hot wooden room yeah, yeah. but I didn't like that hot wooden room it wasn't hot enough I wasn't sweating enough now Nana's Nana's a lady of extremes so I went into the the, the did you the, go in the up, shower room this was a wet room 
It's could like, you feel the, feel the cold in like your butt? I could feel it in my bones. My, my whole, my bones were cold for the next 12 hours. It feels great though, right? I want to do it again today, but I'm afraid. You got to come to the place I go to. It's like this really, you would like it. It's like a really nice, but he has like, it in high his, he, guy has it in his studio oh, so already. Just so do, so that. just do it, yeah. And it's free because you're already paying him. You ever done it? Never. Dude, Never. It what? is Fun. fucking insane. And it burns a ton of fat too. It burns, which so I, was, I know you need. The thing is, <laughs> it is painful. Cause it's so, it's so cold. It's a, but you get numb after after the first yeah. minute. You get numb, and then it's just about like you know, it's, it's the you can't you feel like I don't know what the equivalent it is of how it works. Did they so make you do like breath work and shit? No, I'm saying the second you sit yeah. it, you feel like you were the wind knocked out of you. Then you get in the water like that, you feel like you you every ounce of breath of, of air is ripped out of your lungs, so you can't breathe. It's like you have to work on your breath, and you have to constantly yeah, focus yeah. on breathing. It's like it's supposed okay. to be good for okay. you. Okay, can I yeah. show I used to you? Shower, but that's like the most. Oh, uh, this is like no, this is nothing compared. My to that. shit was thirty nine degrees, and I went in. It's like it feels good, it, but I do it in intervals of three, so it's hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, and you like work up. The first time I did it was sixty seconds. It went Here, read way, this all the way up to three minutes, and it like I could feel it like deep. Me in and Nicole had the bones. funniest conversation about this. I want you to read it out loud as 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 me and Nicole. This is the the thing, in the in his house, not in his house, in his studio. Oh, this is beautiful. Anyway, so like me and Nicole's thing. Nicole's Nicole got a plunge in her house, so she has it in her in her in her basement. She has the cold plunge. She's been telling me to do it for years. I said okay, so I told her I finally did it. Read what she said. We're, we're talking oh my about god. the dramatics of it. Oh my god, is that a cold plunge? Do it. You say yes. They have it at my new gym. I'm scared. You just have to j- jump in and die. <laughs> is that Nicole? That's my buddy, my tax guy. Uh, you just have to jump in and die. Nicole said. You'll be skinny in no time. That's what Nicole said. Joey said, I did it for three minutes. And then you said, a nice man walking by saw me about to get out. And he stood there with me and made sure I stayed in. You have to like breathe. She goes, stop. It's really hard the first second you get in. My legs are still cold. I wish I recorded your face. You probably looked hideous because I know I too. <laughs> Nicole said that. And then you said, no, I looked like a pig about to be slaughtered. <laughs> Just in my little bathing, you were being led to slaughter. It was a, I was like, ah, eh, eh. I looked like a whale emerging from the ocean. Nicole said that. I was drowning for 15 minutes, gasping for air. I looked like I was giving birth. <laughs> oh my God. It's like your face, when the faces you make, that's why it's like, that's why I like not, if it's not a public one, I can't imagine like other people seeing you because no. you look, you're like going, like doing a Lamaze, like going, the Lamaze. <laughs> Doing this and then you're like uh, uh, screaming. It's just like it's like it's like we should take Vinny to walk. We should do that for Out Bad Adventures. I would do it tomorrow. I can. I have the guy. Well, I have to wait like you another have, week. You're broken. I have to wait another week because my bandages can't get wet yet. Where's your bandage up top? I have two on the front, two on the back. One in the front, two in the back. One in the poo, one in the goo. One in the pink, two in one in the yeah, pink. Yeah, but ladies, sound off. Pink, one in the stink. Sound off if you've um, tried um, cold plunging and tell us your experiences and any stories you have um, down below. We just have we send Diego and Vinny there just in white gym shorts. We don't go in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, in. Ooh, little, cold down there, boys. <laughs> I think that'd be a good exercise. I'd love to do it. Let's do it. Let's count it in, and then we'll do anomic green juices. I would love that. You know who needs breathing exercises? Is fucking Meek Mill when he's taking Diddy's dick out of his ass. True that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great transition. A great transition. <laughs> Don't say point of privilege. Point of privilege. Did well, you I, hear? Okay, can, I, can, I think, can I say this? I've yeah. known for and since the '90s when he was bearding it up with J Lo. Been around that he world. was. Did he? Yeah. Yes. He, it's been. No, it's like it's no the worst kept secret that he's gay. It's yeah. not a secret. It's like it's it's known. Yeah. So here's the thing. I don't think he's gay. I think when you have fucked, I know he's gay. When you fucked that much, you get bored with just fucking one type of person or one gender. Like I think he's just bored with women. He's probably had se- it's like Leonardo DiCaprio puts on headphones when he fucks because he has to like listen to music to like get himself going. Like Diddy's probably just like I'm bored with women. Let me fuck a. A, a guy I think that's true in a lot of cases with people but I Diddy's been doing it since the beat like I think this is something he's been doing forever really yeah, yeah like no, since I've, early I've early on I've, so basically Diddy is being sued by a bunch of people for like sexual assault blah 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 by one, by one person by one person There's by one one person is I think the lawsuit stemmed really from Diddy not paying him properly I thought him Meek Mill died yeah no, no. no. isn't that the one that dated Ariana Grande uh-uh. that's Mac that's Miller that's Mac Miller <laughs> oh Two ends. That's close. <laughs> so, now I'm so, all Diddy, so Diddy is being sued by one of his former like it's a producer producers because his, they used to date Rihanna. 
No, because his producer said that he wasn't fairly compensated, so now and, he's and then also lumped into it was all this other stuff that he like all these other allegations, yeah. and this is coming on the heels of the allegations of Diddy's ex, who said he used to beat the shit out of her, drag her around the Assault apartment, her, yeah. and then they settled out of court for undisclosed amount. Now Meek Mill, fellow Philly rapper, just like our friend Roan, went on Twitter <laughs> and went on a fucking tirade, like coming back at all the allegations saying he's not gay. If you want to pull up one well, of these tweets, one of these tweets to, to fill in, to fill in the gap, the, the reason why the reason why Meek Mill had to respond was because there was a part in the lawsuit that said, Diddy told this producer, it's like he was trying to convince him to hook up with this young producer. And he, and as examples, he said, I look, here's a video of me fucking this famous producer, Stevie J. I also fucked it redacted. Two names. What does redacted mean? Like blacked out. Like blacked it out. But then there were footnotes in the lawsuit that made it very obvious it was Meek Mill and Usher he was talking about. Well, Usher seems like a queen. Usher is also another known. Like everyone knows, he's Meek gay, Mill so. doesn't seem gay at all to me until he tweeted this stuff. I have no idea. If I is that Meek Mill there? No, what does no. he look like? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold Meek Mill. On. Meek Mill doesn't seem gay at all to me until he tweeted out his denial of the stuff that's going on saying he's not gay this tweet that meek mill has reads like something i would have said in eighth grade if someone asked Should me I, read I, it? I was gay read it out joey read it in straight voice okay when i got a girl around me i'm fucking her twice a day lol ask me your favorites pussy don't control me but it is a high <laughs> one love to the gay people but that juicy pussy do it for me i ran red lights get that feeling y'all weird on them devils lol and then he went on 17,000 likes on that. He went 24,000. He went on and on. I'm from Philly. I don't do coke or freaky ass Molly. Nobody would offer me coke because I'm that, because I'm that heavy. No, I mean, half this stuff doesn't mean anything. Can I see what he looks like? No man or what would ever approach me uh, about gay activity, blah, blah, blah. So basically Meek Mill went on and just went on an absolute tirade. I couldn't blog it because my thing was done. But I feel like if you deny this hard that you're gay there has to be some truth to it right she's wearing oh can you see another picture i, I thought she had draw i thought she had a drop teardrop a teardrop diamond earring joey you think if someone denies being gay this hard they, there's some sort of gayness to them. no he looks gay right yeah he looks like a queen he's in a he, but also, oh my god yeah no this guy's gay for sure meek mel <laughs> meek mel this whoever this is yeah that's meek mel you're clocking him spooking her you really think that Meek Mill is gay? Other than the tweets, if you just saw him walking down this, I mean, hello. I mean, we got a turtleneck up to the fucking gullet. It's not with the jewel. It's not the diamond jewelry that makes me think he's gay. It's it's his expression on his face. He has resting gay face. Yeah, it's, yes. a, it's, not, it's not. You know, he's a, he's an entertainer, so they're gonna wear diamonds and fancy clothes and colorful things. But that's not why. I think it's because his expression has just a. Uh, that's him too. So that's him too. There was some change, son. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you. Hey. Yeah. But that's just bros. That's just br brothers being brothers. Yeah, I don't think that he looks gay there, though. Do you know what? Call him daddy and stuff like that. Yeah, but I've called people daddy. Do you know what resting gay face is, Vinny? Nah. He looks gay as fuck there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's Fred. There's, um, there's, uh, what's his name? Did he? No, no, no. Kevin Hart. No, oh, no, sure. no. Our work, our work friend, Jack Mack. Jack Mack. Oh, yeah, there's Jack Mac. He's just, looking good. Did he lose weight and get Jack a haircut? Jack lost, he lost a, a lot, lot of he weight. He looks great. Yeah. He was hot before. He still is. <laughs> no, stop. Take, fix that. <laughs> no, this is great. He looks really good. Yeah, I think Jack Mac looks good. He lost a ton of weight. He mm. figured out what the fuck he... he Jack Mac is he like got a haircut. famous. He's got a good haircut. Jack Mac's like the most viewed person in our company every like month yeah. behind eight. It's crazy. But I don't know. Jack Mac does not have resting gay face. What is resting, what is resting gay face? Did you explain that? Um... How would you describe it? Do I feel hot? Do you think I'm infected? Hold on, hold on. Focus, focus. How would you describe resting gay face? Um, just like you could just tell, like when you're, it's an expression. It's you a can just tell that there's sass, an underlying sass about them. It's bl there's a blankness to them that you can't create, you can't recreate. It just comes naturally. It's got, it's got, it's a right of God. Is there Urban Dictionary for resting gay face? It's crazy how this was such a big story. Like, is it that big if a rapper is gay? Yeah, well, because yeah, they're always guys, they're very homophobic. Really? Yeah. Inter, it's it's, it's inter, interracial homophobia. What's it called? Inter internalized homophobia. Internalized. Um, gay face. The look a gay man. Can you zoom in, babe? The look a gay man may have that enables other gay men to quickly <laughs> identify them as family, no matter what they're doing, wearing or saying. Gay face is an, an, an 
how do you say that? Indefinable yep. in photos. Gay face cannot be hidden in attempts to butch it up by a straight man um, with gay face is not really straight. I saw his picture in the paper. I immediately knew knew that girl on his arm was a beard because he's a total gay face. Do we have gay face? Be honest. I mean, look at me. Yeah, I me. Mean, Joey, Joey right now, for sure. <laughs> I have to call the lady. The lips are out of control. What lady? The lip lady. The call her after the show. Call her after the show. I'm not calling her. I'm just trying to see a pic the picture. So the, face. um. Sir. Eight. Mama, mama, eight. I don't think I have gay face. If Joey and I were walking down the street and he didn't have lips, would you be able to tell? No, you, you don't. Joey doesn't either. So. Oh. If I was standing still, not moving or, or talking. Oh. You, oh, you, you, he's clocking. No, I'm saying I think <laughs> much. Yeah, that's not with that, your not with your lips, but if pre lips being done, I would say probably no. Either. Be honest. No, I don't think so. He said, "You know what he said?" To but me I'm not good at that. What? Yeah, you Bef are. Like before you walked in, like a couple, like like an hour ago, he goes, "So, shit, so like." <laughs> What's is that really just? A tr is it true? Or is this a rumor <laughs> that you know if they feel it really feels different when you get your dick sucked with some, like injections? <laughs> you always only one way to find out, son. He was like, "Yeah, <laughs> I've been asking." <laughs> Dude, your lips are fucking nuts. It's man. because I have I'm having a cold sore reaction to it. I feel is that not where they inject? I feel like that's where they injected it. No, there's one here and one up here. You need some fucking Valtrex, brother. I have it. God damn. Let me see these peckers. Dude, this is <laughs> that's some of the crazy. Why'd you get so much? I did it. It wasn't like this they, the other they day. They were they were talking about it getting. He almost wanted more. More? Yeah. It wasn't like this the other day. It just it, it bloomed Can overnight. I touch one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, this, no. the second the second they did it, they were like, "Well, this one's gonna go down." He's like, "This one's gonna go down." Should we do more? Like that was his first reaction. <laughs> you have you have an addict's response. Well, yeah. I need more. I need that high. Yeah. That, that lip filler high. You want it more immediately. <laughs> it is um, hilarious. You you got the jaw before too. The jaw? Oh yeah, they did it all. Oh, they my did it all. God. You know, I'm a, I'm a young lady. I'm losing. I'm, I'm about to. I'm about to go on a, a weight loss adventure. I'm getting pecs. <laughs> getting pecs. I'm you're getting cold plunge. You see that uh, Asian guy who gets all the plastic surgery? Who like gets? He's a skinny guy, but he literally has like arm implants and pec implants. He's not Asian. He just looks Asian because of all the plastic surgery. My friend was friend. My ex, my ex was friends with him. His name is Cuban Ken. Do you know the name? Human? Human. Cumin. That's racist. <laughs> Human Kendall. There he is. Oh, uh, yeah. This is Sam. Justin. Smash or pass? Do you think he gives good top? Why do people call that? I that? don't know. Do you know what getting top is? Like blowjob? Yeah. What does, it, how does that mean? It means the top of your body, I guess. I don't know. That's. Look it up. Why no, it's okay. Top, man, we don't have to, I guess. Just look up uh, two guys kissing for the first time. <laughs> Is it me and you? He actually does. <laughs> On Pornhub. <laughs> like, that's us. The first one is us. The very oh first God. one. You know that that's us. <laughs> us at the Wilbur Theater. We should have... Um, what's that guy's name? The gay politician? George Santos. We should have him on. Yeah, I'd like to have George Santos on. Well, did you text him? Maybe I should. Maybe I sent him a picture of my asshole. Then he'll fucking come on. Do you think he's the top? George Santos? Yeah. That's a really good question. I think George Santos probably has a lot of... I think... I think he's a top because I think he has some really repressed anger. And I think like he can get kind of demonic and dead. But I also think... Yeah. I don't think he's the best looking guy. I feel like medium ugly is like the best. I know what we're about to talk about. I'm so excited. I feel like medium ugly is the best lay. You got you got uh, identified as someone else on the internet this well, week. Well, that's why I had to, I've been laying low. That's why Sunday I couldn't leave the house and I came here directly from my house. I had to have the <laughs> car come into the underground garage to get me today because my I'm being harassed and stalked for my autograph. It's so good. Um, I was mis I was um, there's a doppelganger of me running around Paris Fashion Week. Yes. And um, I've gotten phone calls at, for, from every major news outlet for, for, a, quote, for a quote. Page six TMZ. Page six out of my apartment. It's the like shade room. The shade room. <laughs> 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 Asking me about my look and how I achieved it. <laughs> what I, my newfound fame. Um, and I had to uh, sadly let everyone down, including the press, that this was not me. Do you want to watch the video? So I've been, yeah, I've been mistaken for this model. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is Sam Marie Smith. Wait, can I say something? I want to recreate that outfit. I, I, if you give me 25 minutes and a debit card, I can get that outfit together and Look at the jock strap. Yeah. The jock strap. No, I, 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 would need, I would need 25 minutes just here on 7th Avenue. Just by the, the, the street vendors alone, I could probably come home with this outfit. You would come in with a, with jeans. You got jeans from the guy on the corner of 29th. She's not wearing jeans. That's a, jeans that's a mini skirt. In. That's a pleated, that's a pleated I thought chart it was, and mini skirt. I thought it was a denim jock in front. No. That's a pleated. S- do you think this looks like you? No. He wishes he looked like me. Do you see <laughs> my passport photo I just posted? <laughs> Look, yeah, it was good. Look at this fucking. But I could come up with this look if I need to. I bring the right shoes. And so, uh, should I walk into? Should I go to Jamali Garden and get a walking stick? It's giving hocus pocus. I need to get three Ugh. pashminas and kind of cinch them together over a jacket. Um, I could borrow something from Kelly. This is Kelly Keeks probably has this all at her desk. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can make this happen. Honestly, what happened to Sam Smith? I was, ask, was he like kind I know of what nerdy happened. and not that gay like a year yeah, ago? Yeah, <laughs> he was like he went like ultra like yeah. lib like. Well, they're not. A, they don't have a gender anymore. Sam doesn't. No. He's a they. There are they. There are they. God damn. It's like, I just want to know what is going through their head. I think that he got, he got money and he doesn't give a fuck anymore. He, is, he, he always probably had these feelings in, in, in himself. And that happens when you get money and you know, everything you ever needed. Is, you, you don't need to worry about what other people fucking think and do whatever the fuck you want to do. But do you think he's doing this because this is what he really wants to do or he's trying to get attention? Maybe a little bit of both. Maybe I, think if it's, so. I don't think it really matters to him. I don't think he's doing it for a reaction. I think he's just doing it because he oh, wants to. Uh, <laughs> you don't walk on that outfit. Let me see. Where? You do not walk on that outfit to not get a reaction. What outfit? Let me see. The one we just oh, watched. God. Oh, that. Well, that was. I, that, I think once he did the devil song, it, it was obvious that he was trying to. That was it. a late Vivian Westwood's. Um, I like that song. Though. Smash your pass, Sam Smith, pre. Pass. Pre wokeism. Pass. That pass you would smash no. Just answer the phone. Back to Sam Smith. He's lost his luck. I'm over. Oh, there I am right they there. Okay, right there. Luck. Yep, you know exactly where I was hit going. Yeah. That's how Bay had me greet him on Valentine's Day with fucking pasties on. Yeah, because nipples. Look at his spray tan and the blonde hair. I also feel like they've gone so like crazy with their look that it's not even a thing anymore. Like, oh, that's just Sam Smith. Look at him with Piers Morgan. Yeah, I don't want this queen on my... Oh, look at her lips. Try me, mama. <laughs> Try me. Wait, no, wait. You, jo- you, to meet, you have to meet me to meet your master. It's Joey before and after Sperling. Yeah, when you, when you meet the final lip injection boss. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, God. Uh, um, what, okay, I'm what, done with this. Yeah, what else? What else we got, Vin? Oh, my ball came out. Oh, I got to talk to you about throw, fast. Throw us that. About fact. You have a factor here? Throw it to Joey. I guys, Factor meals. I've talked about this. I just order them on my own. They were send them free, and then I started Ooh. ordering them on my own. Two minutes in the microwave. The easiest, healthiest, most delicious thing you can get and put in your body. Eating is easy oh with Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals. Every fresh, never frozen meal is chef cracked, dietitian approved, and ready to go in just two minutes. There's over 35 options to choose from each week. You got calorie smart protein plus keto. There's also more than 60 add ons to help you stay fueled up. They also have the breakfast stuff, the shakes, which they had up here when they were doing Surviving Barcel. It's fantastic. Like we yep. said, two minutes, punch some holes in it, shove it in the microwave, bring it out. It's absolutely delicious. Joey, you like the pancakes and the smoothies. Pancakes, smoothies, and discover more. A wide variety of easy options for the entire day breakfast, middays, bites, and more. There's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. Flexible to your schedule. We'll get as much or as little as you want by choosing your meals every week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule delivers at any time. Now, I have the uh, roasted garlic chicken with green oh. beans, sour cream, and onion mashed potatoes. Stick it in my hole. My mouth hole. <laughs> pie hole. The my pie, pie hole. hole. Head to factorymeals.com slash out50 and use code out50 to get 50% off. That's code out50 at factorymeals.com slash out50 and get 50% off. Factor Meals. Get your life together, mama. Um, Sydney Sweeney on SNL. We, do we care about her? No, I couldn't Wait, pick her Wait, me and Vinny have something very funny about Sydney Sweeney coming out shortly. What? She was we can't a... tell you, but we filmed a scene with Sydney Sweeney the other day. Tell me about it. We can't tell you. It's not out yet. Is it going to be out by Wednesday? No. Look at those tats. What are you guys? What are you guys' thoughts on Sydney Sweeney? I Overrated, love her. underrated, properly rated attractiveness. Attra- I attractiveness. Oh, she's a ten. Yes. I think she is perfectly rated. You think she's perfect? A lot of people say she, she, they think she's just a mid woman with large breasts. I think she's a. I think she's a <laughs> mid actress. I think she's a mid actress. Okay. I think. I think her character in Euphoria. Euphoria allowed her to. 
become no, have the notoriety because that character she played that character perfectly, perfectly, and it was for her. Her going as so I watch this movie that she's promoting now. Her going to this movie, she doesn't do a bad job, but it's not a memorable experience. She didn't have to do that. It's, it's she's not a she's not a, 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 a comedic actress. What's she's fine with it, but it's, it wasn't true to what what it was. I don't know where when she was also when she was in. I think when she was in Lo White Lotus, she also was that character was good for her as well, but. I think I think the, if she plays a character and that, that I think she has to play that kind of like aloof, that aloof. Yeah, exactly. I was yeah. gonna say that that aloof kind of like over it, kind of like I drugged she up was... or like you know Xanaxed up kind of a Idiot. character. Because I think I, when I when saw her, or maybe it's just me not being able to see her from other, another another role. Maybe she, but I didn't see her. I don't see her as a comedic actress. Um, and I think I feel, I feel like in person she's dull. I think I think in person <laughs> she doesn't have. I'm serious. Like when she does an interview or something, like that, I don't I don't think she has that. Charisma, like it's like things aren't matching up. Something's off. I, I, I'm sure that my mouth I can see this. Something's off with her personality. She's, I'm sure she's a lovely girl, but it's not like that cool girl like thing that 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 that, that like that um so unattainable thing isn't there with me. She's, she's, she's girl so next attainable. door with huge girl boobs. Girl next door, great actress when she is in the right role. I, I think I, I think she's fun, but she's not she's not an it girl that I'm like oh my god what is no. Sydney Sweeney's hair like what like you know like Sophia Richie yes that's how I'm I'm like enthralled by her like oh my god hanging on everything she's a style icon funny uh, uh, kind of mysterious her I think you can you get face value you get what you see you see you know you get what you see but with I her. think that's I thought she was I a good her. actress because I hated the character the character was so annoying to me and I was like oh this is like. In that's euphoria why it, or this I movie? had like in a euphoria I had like a visceral reaction to that character and I was like okay she's good but maybe it's just the same fucking role every time I didn't watch SNL with her on I don't I know if she was good or not but I mean I, those no, no, no one's talking about if she was good or not everyone's just talking about her boobs <laughs> oh yeah are you an ass guy or a tit guy Vin I am a tits guy but I don't discriminate as much with tits if that makes sense you don't discriminate like I welcome all tits but oh. ass I'll be like a, he's a purist. Yeah. Well, I'm an ass man. You are an ass. A, a self-proclaimed booty bandit. Yeah. <laughs> You've never been a tit guy. No, that's why I had mine chopped off. That's why I had top <laughs> surgery. Well, that's why she had top surgery. What else we got? Will you order me trans tape for Christmas? Yes. You know what that order, is. Right? How many trans tape? Joey, I'll order it for you. If anyone wants to order me trans tape and deliver it to the office, three 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 Seventh Avenue, second floor. Attention, live event, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> You order Lisa. You order Lisa trans. Uh, um, by way of Cooper. <laughs> um, speaking of big tits, Oprah's Oprah's Weight Watchers. You hear what happened with her? Well, she got, she started on Ozempic and then she quit. Well, and then she quit. She's been the spokeswoman for Weight Watchers for like twenty five years. I yeah. love Brad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> remember that? That video's too young for that. She quit this because she admitted to using Ozempic, the first thing that's actually worked. Well, she's been yo-yoing for years, and now the stock has tanked, and Weight Watchers is like on Ozempic its last is the best leg. thing for for weight loss. Easily. It is. Do you remember her growing up though? She would always yo-yo up and down. Same with me. You sent me, Joey sent me clips. An old Oprah Winfrey show was fucking. Saying the N-word? Wild. She'd have like people from the KKK on like debating Black Panthers. Yeah. And then she'd have like gay people on the back. Well, I just think you're going to hell. Like yeah. the audience. It was very much uh, like was, early Dr. Phil. Yeah. It was ahead of its time. You grew, Did you watch that growing up? Yes. You were Oprah? Oprah, uh, Oprah Sally, Jesse Raphael, Geraldo, <laughs> Jenny Jones show. How You know Geraldo Rivera is like in his late 80s? Yeah. He's old as fuck. I only want. I was a Regis and Kathy Lee, Oprah. That's pretty much it. The Ricky Lake show. Ricky Lake, Vicky Lake, Jenny Jones. Jenny, these are a little before my time. I don't know who Jenny Jones is. I'm embarrassed to say. She had, she had bangs. Jenny Jones and a side part. Oh my god. Jenny Jones was good. You know, Oprah's worth like five billion dollars. That's not a lot. <laughs> oh, this is. If why do we not have this wig? Whose wig is this? Jenny Jones. Why do we not have a Jenny Jones wig in our collection? Well, we have to be able to send it to us. Um, yeah, five billion dollars is not as fucking as, as pennies compared to that Indian wedding that's happened this weekend with Rihanna. Rihanna. Nine million dollars she got paid. Unbelievable. I think it was six, but same thing. It was nine. Oh, it was. Yeah. Damn. Nine million dollars. Now this guy is this woman. I guess this woman's son is the one of the richest people in the world. Obviously, um, her 
jewelry alone was like worth billions of dollars. He just cr- so the the person who paid them, the family just acquired rights to Sephora in India. So she's the rumor so, is that she's doing this so she can expand Fenty Beauty to India. As oh, like, isn't that genius? Yes. Shout out Mrs. Dow Jones for the tip on that. As like a uh, that's oh, great. It's a business place. So yeah, she got the nine million up front, but also now she's in with this family who owns the rights to fucking everything. Yeah, because Rihanna India. hasn't sang since the Super Bowl. Yeah, she came out of retirement for this. She crushed it, honestly. I like. Yeah. I think Rihanna is so chill. I like. I like, Rih- I like Rihanna too. I loved. You know, one of my favorite performances that she did was like when she did the Met Gala. Like yes. she, she, she thrives in smaller boutique venues. venues. Yeah. I think I so I saw her in concert with Eminem. Yep. Saw her, great. What was that? Um, I don't know. Years ago, when they were they were oh, on tour shit. together, I they did a that. tour together. I had no idea. They were on tour together. I saw it at um, whatever stadium it was, and then I saw her. But then I saw her like at the pop. She went to smaller venues, like these things. The Met Gala, I think she thrives in smaller spaces. Yes. And I, I always love to perform. I think the performances are much more real and raw. I think in a big space, she kind of gets lost up on this. She gets lost in the stage. I and think she's, she's very, like, chill. She's very, um, she's not live to tape. The bitch is singing at her stuff. Mm-hmm. So I think, like you said, a smaller venue works for her. I want to go to an Indian. Like I want to go to an Indian wedding. Why don't you ordain your people as an Indian officiant? Should I ride in on an elephant? You ride in on an elephant? Very special deal for you, Mr. Kalasta. I have to call him again for to re-up. Viags? How many, how many times do you take a Viagra? Um, Three to four? Depends on the week. And that's bad for the old ticker. I don't know. I love it. You've never taken a Viagra, Vinny? Never. Damn. Do you want one? Nah, I don't need it. Next time he wears sweats, put it in his drink. <laughs> Yeah, you'll come over. We'll do, we'll do our social experiment. <laughs> After we'll, we'll go to the cold plunge and see how 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 much shrinkage can you beat the cold plunge with, with shrinkage Viagra. from Viagra. Our hearts just explode the second <laughs> we go in. Um, um, where's Diego? Is he still? Is he, yeah. is he still on um, birthright? Yeah. <laughs> is Diego on Swiss birthright? Where is he with his girlfriend overseas? Either Switzerland or Sweden? I keep forgetting which one. Switzerland. Is, did you did Switzerland. he ask you permission for that? I signed the permission slip. Yeah. Okay. Good. I know you had to. I know um, you had to. We have speaking of wait. fucking. How about Chris Clemmer? Do you hear about him? Downstairs? How about Antonio fucking Brown? <laughs> oh, talk about it. Who is that? I don't know. It's Antonio, about, it's Antonio, about Antonio Brown. <laughs> Antonio Brown. What is this? He called Dave a cracker. He, no, he called. Uh, he called you guys crackers. He said oh. we're all crackers and Dave's minions, and he's just been harassing bar out and about. <laughs> no, like who everyone. is Antonio Brown first and foremost? Tell the ladies, including myself. Former NFL player, very good wide receiver who. Probably from brain injuries and just being crazy to start, uh, lost his mind, retired. He like left in the middle of the game and retired, never came back. Okay, got it. He, was a pa- a he was a patriot, left not on the greatest terms of patriots. That kind of started things between, I guess, us and them. Yeah. And then. So, what, so how did Dave, how did he talk about Barstool? He's, he's a, tell him what uh, happened. I actually forget what started it. Oh, uh, Jerry Thornton wrote a blog shitting on something he did. Yeah, Jerry Thornton wrote a blog. Does Jerry Thornton work here? Yeah, Jerry yeah. Thornton's an older guy who lives in a Cape. He lives on the Cape, dude. He wrote a blog about it, and then Antonio Brown. Is Brown that the guy that came to your house late it. night? No, that was R. A. Oh. <laughs> and then Antonio Brown quotes tweeted it and like shit on him basically. Uh, and then, but then he did this one. This was like the first one. We're gonna be in the March Madness shit this, this year. That's saying. the crackers. That's what he's saying. The Barstool bloggers are. I mean, we are know. a bunch of crackers, though, right? He's not wrong. <laughs> cracker is not an offensive thing. Like, you can call a white friend a cracker, right? Yeah, I would. I would. Love, I'd be honored to be called a cracker. Do I'd. I'd be happy to refer you as a cracker. Well, can you confirm me as cracker ass cracker? Cracker ass cracker. Cracker ass cracker. Okay, I'm over this story. Black ass cracker. What are you talking about? I hear something better. Oh, we were talking about um, our good March friend, Madness. March Madness. We're talking about Chris Clemmer. Chris Clemmer's a solitary confinement. Do you want to talk oh, about that? yes. Our guy Chris Clemmer. I don't feel like you don't want to talk about Chris. Oh, I don't care, but I, I, I just said we were going somewhere. I oh, March it. Madness. Yeah, ne- it's Selection Sunday, right? This coming Sunday. Every year, Barstool does like a Barstool, a Barstool Bracket Busters type thing where we're all paired up in teams, and then the winner gets like some big what prize. What is that? What? They're all naked. And then the winner gets some like big prize. And so last year, people went to Ireland. RA and Large won. They went to Ireland. The year before, someone got a fucking Bitcoin. Oh, that thing. So I think we're going to be we in did, it. We tried that last time. We didn't win because you picked the wrong person. I know. You asked tough. Big T and he fucked it up. A Big T fucked it up for us? I don't know. That's going to be next. So this is our friend fun. Chris Clemmer. He lives downstairs at Shoegasm. Yeah, tell him what's happening. He wants to do solitary confinement for six, uh, for uh, 90 hours or 100 hours. 100 hours he's got to stay in there. And he's got no television, no phone, nothing. He, just brought, a, he brought an encyclopedia of sports. From 1996 or something. I dare you to go walk down there right now. And say you can't. Hi. We're not allowed in. And he's, he's, for food, he gets um, 
I guess Vibs goes down there with a tray and puts food <laughs> down under for him. How many people are in the? Ch- how many people are watching him? Uh, Thirteen hundred. We had more in our our stream. We I had mean, two thousand at all times. I mean, we had more than way more than double on that. Um, yeah, check that out. I mean, that's pretty much what's going on here. Gaz is back. I saw that. I, I said he was in Miami. I said, why would you leave Miami when the weather's just starting to get nice? He's ready to crack the fucking whip around here. That's why he's back. Make sure people are fucking doing shit. I guess I love Gaz. Gaz just moved into my neighborhood by the cubby hole, which where Rico Bosco hangs out. Yeah, it's a lesbian bar. I know. That's what your feels about during um. Gay whales. Now, that's, a, that's that about me? I think I saw this article. Yeah. The, gay, fine, gays, uh, the whales have been... Let's read it. There's Jane Jones. There's two humpback whales who are observed mating for the first time ever, and they're both men. So they were, they were sodomizing each other. One was a cum whore. One's, 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 one's a cum whale. One's a cum dump. No, they're both two humpback this whales. This is them fucking. Now, the, who was that? How the... Who, what... what? photographer was down there waiting for this to happen <laughs> this happened to catch the moment they were fucking it's the look at the size of its dick that's not a dick that's a dick brother oh that's his dick look up how big a humpback whale's cock is should we recreate this this faithful <laughs> occurrence in, in the um in the local swimming pool at the y at the 92nd street y six foot cock <laughs> can you take a six foot cock no Vinny, what's I the think biggest... some man mafias can take a six foot cock. Absolutely, I would hope, ladies. I would hope they could. What's the biggest cock you've ever taken? I can't do that. In in your heyday, back when you were bulimic. When I was bulimic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, probably no. I think the biggest one was probably maybe eight inches. I don't know, nine inches. A nine inch a nine inch hogger. No, my asshole. No, I never took a big big. Yeah. big not cute. The biggest one is he was a, he was a, he was a security guard. And an ex pro wrestler. This is Alfredo. Real talk. Okay, this is an ad that it's uh, it's very personal to both of us here because this the- website is uh, like I think they made I think they made hims dot com. Yes. Is it for hims? I think they made hims just for me. All my every ailment I have, they have something to fix it for. Hims is the best. I want to talk to you guys really quick and make sure you listen because fifty two percent of men over 40 experience some form of ED between the ages of 40 and 70. Guilty. But it's always been a taboo topic. Now, ladies, I know you're listening right now. Maybe your mans can't get bricked up the way he once could. Hims is the answer to help that. Thankfully, Hims is making ED no longer a taboo treatment or a taboo topic to talk about. The best part is about Hims. Everything is online and it's changing the way men's health care uh, is being provided by providing access to affordable and discreet sexual health treatments all from your couch. Hims provides access to clinically proven generic alternatives to Viagra and Cialis up to 95% cheaper with options as low as $2 per dose. That's why I've been taking, this is how I've been getting my brick, yeah. my brick pills. Um, the process is simple and 100% online, no uncomfortable doctor visits. Answer a series of questions on their site and a medical provider will determine whether the right treatment is for you. If prescribed, your medication is shipped directly to you for, um, for free with discreet packaging. That's the best part. It's discreet, it's discreet, it's discreet, and you don't need insurance. All you do is pay one low price for treatments. You get your online online visit, ongoing shipments, and you can message your provider right online. Hims has hundreds of thousands of trusted subscribers. So if ED is getting you t- getting you down, it's time to change that. That's right. Start your free online visit today at hims.com slash out. That's hims.com, H-I-M-S dot com slash out for your personalized ED treatment options. Hims.com slash out. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if it's appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website and details for important safety information. Subscription required. Prices vary depending on product and subscription plan. Should we, uh, do, a ra- should we do a ranking of the gayest animals? Should we just rattle off gay animals right now? Yeah. And then we can make it into a graphic. I mean, these humpback whales. One. Platypus. Dolphins. Flamingo. <laughs> Poodles. Um, Cockatoo. Red panda. Red panda. Um, a, a slithery snake. <laughs> slithery. Get in there, Vin. What else we got? A slithery snake. What's little prairie dogs are kind of, what's like a, oh, ferrets. Oh, otters. Otters, ferrets. Ferrets are the gayest. Ferrets are gay as fuck. A. a bat? A, a, a Maine Coon a cat? Ba- Maine Coons, no, those are very mad. Those are like, les- those are like, those are lesbians. Yeah. A bat is very dramatic. Bat, the drama. Oh, a peacock. Yeah, yeah. The drama of a bat is is too much. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the reveal. Any animal with a reveal. Any, any of that? Oh, um, an, an, an armadillo. 
Armadillos. Armadillos. Are, <laughs> wait, what? What is the ones that roll? Hedgehogs. Hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are gay. Anything with a tear away. Anything with a, re- a reveal. A dramatic a reveal. Would a turtle be gay then? Is that what you're saying? <sighs> I feel like a turtle is a sea gay, urchin but... gay. Is seahorses gay? Seahorses. Oh, seahorses. Oh, that's the gay. Seahorses are gay. The men give birth. Seahorses. The yeah. men give birth. That's they shoot a fucking yeah. a seahorse baby out of their pussy. I'm trying to think habitat wise. A Nile crocodile. What's that? <laughs> a Nile. A cro- snapping turtle. <laughs> a snapping turtle. <laughs> yes. An unhinged snapping turtle. Yes. An unhinged. <laughs> a snapper. An unhinged. A toucan. Toucans are so. Toucans I'm a toucan. Again. I know that's your name. Gay. Oh, that God. was fun. Oh, well, an ostrich. The, 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 a marabou. Yes. Marab- what's marabou? What is marabou? Oh, Feathers. a lemur. A lemur is gay as oh, fuck. The slitheriest lemur. Yes, a slithering lemur. <laughs> That's a gay ass bitch. <laughs> she, she streaked out on Tina. Yeah, she, <laughs> she's methed out on 8th Avenue. Looking this for another is, hit. I saw this queen on 8th, on 8th and 23rd yeah. three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Google, what was it? One right before this. Oh, uh, lemur, um, no, cockatoo, uh, toucan. No, no, uh, no uh, uh, marabou, marabou. What is a marabou? I didn't even heard of that. They have marabou feathers. It has to be something. How do I spell that? Marabou? Mink. Fo- oh, foxes are gay. If you're a fox, an arctic fox, dear. Marabou feather is a thing, but uh, maybe that's not, a ca- that's not an animal. Maybe it's just a fake feather. Maybe anything with feathers. Any sort of hypoallergenic dog is gay as fuck. If you have a Labradoodle, a fucking Dane Doodle, you're gay. If mm-hmm. you have a, a hypoallergenic dog. Ostrich? Ostrich is gay. I'm trying to think, uh, do we go land, <laughs> sea, or air? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's literally ready to take it up. Oh, with- a baboon with, a, with their exposed hole. Yeah, baboons are... They're, they're yes. Yes. They're with their, a- with their gaping asshole just out at all times. Solid. Ready to receive. Oh, what's the monkey that looks like it has a cock for a nose? Look up, uh, yeah. di- look up, look up, Dick Nose Monkey. Look at this, look at this, this bitter bottom. It's <laughs> a bitter bottom. That's no, that's a chaotic bottom. <laughs> she- <laughs> look up, Dick Nose Monkey. I know exactly what you're talking about. This. <laughs> What's it called? That's literally Vinny's cock. A Presebius monkey. Should we get one? I think that's the gayest. That's just freaking old man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like my grandfather. Can you imagine that thing came out at you? Oh. Would you hook up with him? Yes. Would ti- Is a tiger gay? No. Tigers are kind of like sexy. <laughs> no, they're too cute to be. <laughs> Gays are disgusting. Yeah. I'm trying to think like zoo animal. I feel like we're missing like a big one. Yeah, I feel like someone's going to say one. Gonna like a butterfly? Dog. No. no. That's too uh, basic. Peacock was good. Peacock is gay as fuck. Google gay animals. Yeah, that's a good idea. Gayest animal. That is, I mean, that's, that's that that's is fucking gay. the pageantry. <laughs> the the look at me energy. <laughs> yes, the pageantry. What the fuck was happening that on this day that they made this thing? Look up gay animals, Vinny. There's probably to be a list. Diego shows up. <laughs> so, homosexual behavior. Uh, okay. Penguins are gay. A black swan. Swans. Oh yes, yeah, swan. swans. Are swans are. You know who has big swan energy? Jeffrey Star. I miss him. Do we still have his phone number? Probably. Do I have his phone number? Well, that was fun. Gayest animals. Oh, the- <laughs> um. Thank you, everyone, for listening today. We hope everyone has a great rest of the week. We hope that you like all of our posts. We hope that you follow us on every platform. Thank you for the well wishes for my arm surgery. Thank you for the well wishes for Joey's lips. And um, carry on. Onward and upward. Um, yes. It's springtime. The weather is here. We hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Go out there and cold plunge your, your stretched out pussy in some, some water and um, have a drink for me. You heard it here first. See you guys Friday. <laughs>